Hey guys, really nice to be back with another WWE Picture video, this time it's Payback 2020. So, I was going to record this video on Friday, but at that point, there'd only been four matches announced, so there would have been quite pointless to be fair, because there's been seven announced now. And it's also, watching Smackdown's changed one of my predictions, so it's probably a good thing waiting. So we'll jump straight into it, we've got one of the new matches announced, Sheamus vs Big E. So obviously uh, Kofi's injured, Xavier Woods has been injured for quite a while, a long time now, so they're uh, pushing in Big E on his own. Sheamus had a pretty big push at the moment as well, but I think Big E's going to win this one. He's, he's he's been pushed quite well on his, his own, so I think it's going to uh, push on a bit further. Maybe get him a title match soon, either the IC or the Universal. Probably, yeah. No, depends if Sami Zayn wins it or not. If Sami Zayn wins it, probably the IC and the put title on Big E, but yeah, I'm going to go with Big E to beat Sheamus. And then we've got another one announced Matt Riddle versus King Corbin. So this is uh, Matt Riddle's pay per view debut. So I'm going to go with Matt Riddle to win this one. Corbin's been one of them guys who just puts people over when needs be. He's had a couple of big wins, but he doesn't really do a lot. Never had a big title win, like world title. So yeah, I'm going to win Matt Riddle to win this one. And then we've got Rey Mysterio and Dominic versus Seth Rollins and Murphy. And I'm going to keep, keep predicting it because eventually it's going to come true. I keep saying, surely now's the time to get their payback on Seth and Murphy, but... I'm going to go with Rey Mysterio and Dominic to win, but by DQ, with interference from Retribution. Because they, they attacked Rey and Dominic on Raw, I'm thinking they're going to do it again, and cause a DQ. So yeah, Rey Mysterio and Dominic to win by DQ. And then we've got the US title match, Apollo Crews versus Bobby Lashley. First thing I saw this match, I thought Apollo Crews retain. It's it's not how much build, it's a... And then I thought, hang on a minute. Bobby Lashley to win with Cedric Alexander heel turn and joining the Hurt Business. Just got a funny feeling. I, I don't think they were going to put the title on MVP because of his age, but I would have been fine with that. But Bobby Lashley, I can see him having a decent US title run, especially with the Hurt Business because he's not having to do much talking on Mike anymore. So it's kind of freeing up to do what he does best. So yeah, Bobby Lashley to win the United States title. Then we've got the women's tag team titles, Sasha Banks and Bailey versus Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. And I'm going to go with Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler to win this one. Just meaning that Sasha and Bailey lose the tag team titles, they've lost something else. It's another seed into the heel turn. Heel heel turn, because they're already heel, but yeah. Of, uh, I'm going to go with Bailey to be fair to, to turn heel. I think it was Sasha who turns face because she's lost the title, she's going to lose the tag team title, it's just going to be Bailey with her title. So yeah, I think. It's going to be Nia Jackson and Shayna Baszler to win the women's tag team titles. Then we've got Keith Lee in his debut match, well, debut pay per view match as well, against Randy Orton. So they had a match from Raw. Drew McIntyre interfered, costing Keith Lee the match. But Drew McIntyre is out injured now. I think he might interfere again. But this time it'll mean Keith Lee wins the match. I can't see him letting him. I'm surprised they didn't have him win his debut match on Raw to be honest with you, but not many people debut against Randy Orton, so yeah, I'm going to go Keith Lee to beat Randy Orton, maybe with interference from Drew McIntyre. And then the main event, Braun Strowman versus The Fiend versus Roman Reigns and his manager, Paul Heyman. <laughs> what? So yeah, Roman Reigns looks like he's turned heel, and he's definitely got manager of Paul Heyman now, so before I watch SmackDown, my prediction was going to be Fiend retain, but after seeing that, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns to win the Universal title. Hopefully by pinning Braun. If he pins the Fiend, I won't be very happy to be fair, because Fiend's had enough damage already. If, if Braun gets pinned, then it's, it's not end up well for Fiend, and he's got him another world title. Bray's a three-time champion, it's, it's pretty impressive that to be fair, to say how badly he got booked as well. So yeah, I'm going to go with Roman Reigns to win the Universal title. So that was my predictions for Payback 2020. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, favourite, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye!